Yo, welcome back to Check the Tape. Uh, I guess this is kind of episode two now. I decided to just do another one. <laughs> this time with Lo-Fi. The Lo-Fi didn't actually record from the first time I did it. Um, but we've got it this time. Should be voice and Lo-Fi. How about that? Well then, a um, little background music for you. Just to keep the senses tuned. Uh, on this one, we've got Precious Queening against Don. Precious on gold with uh, Kyle, JC, Master Joe, and Fez. Don on blue with Joe P, Jake, Anthony, and Ricardio. Uh, so let's take a look at how this shapes up. We're going to be looking at um, kind of the footage, uh, the setups, the opens. The whole point of checking the tape is to try to uh, point out some things in South Florida that we do well don't do well uh, and kind of get to the bottom and, and diagnose why things happen the way that they do sometimes in games and how we can make better games and better choices in games. Uh, so this one, <clears throat> interesting start from gold. There are two uh, drones around the speed area, which is kind of an odd, odd thing to do. Uh, you've got one on the blue side, which is pretty standard. Uh, pretty standard opens from the inside, everyone's inside. Uh, gonna make some drops some bumps but unlike the sebastian anthony sets <clears throat> no tricky shenanigans in terms of the the running start to try to get advantage early so definitely would like to see some more of that in the beginning uh for drones but that's something you kind of have to practice but i don't know what's going on here um and then again when i'm doing these kind of check the tape reviews i'm really intentionally basically not paying attention to who's playing what position except for the queens maybe um, mentally, I think there are certain things that queens um, do that are unique to them in terms of like how they do things. And sometimes it's like, hey, all right, this person's really got to work on these things. But for the most part, even with the queens, I'm going to really be trying to just turn a blind eye to who's playing uh, the position and kind of what they're doing and all that as a, as a player and just focus on what blue queen is doing versus what gold queen is doing for all the positions. So. Uh, with that in mind, let's get this thing going and see what happens. Okay. Don't like what this is doing here. So, on the, what is that? Gold stripes. Started here in the same kind of position as speed. Dropped down, got a berry. Dropped down again. So, took, took a berry from this patch. It was a really important patch uh, early on. Dropped down, got that berry, came down, and then took this route to snail. If you're going to snail, right? Let's see, on the other side, what happened over here? They formed up and then this was safe. Okay, so, so, all right. Uh, gold checks in this case, is kind of on an island. They're like doing what they can. They're gonna get this bump. They weren't able to mess with this form over here. They're gonna bump here and maybe kind of, you know, dick around and try to see where they can go. But I think there was probably miscommunication in the team because if you start here, you're not going for snail. You, you should be going for speed if you start here at all, or if you're like doing an early barrier rocks or something, you can put more than one person here. That makes sense. But in this case, I have no idea why gold stripes would have started here, dropped down and gone to the snail. If you're doing that play, you need to be going through the middle and trying to get some kind of disruption for two reasons. One, you can't really move snail all that much at the beginning by yourself. You're gonna get plugged by another drone. You're gonna get killed by the first warrior that pops out or something. You're not gonna move too much. You can't control it. You might move it a little bit in the tunnel, but it's not gonna be very significant unless you have the control to keep it moving out of the tunnel. So if you're running snail, I always recommend you start here, do some kind of disrupt, and then make your way to snail. If you are gonna just beeline it to snail and say YOLO, still start here because this is way faster than this. All right? Good bump in the middle here. Good contest here. That's big actually, it seems small, but just, just delaying speed for as long as possible at the beginning of the game is huge. They get their speed warrior out first and look at the way, look at this. This is why it's such a big deal. The positioning that you can get as a speed warrior when you come out first and you have that big um, kind of kind of early uh, uh, you know, head start. This blue, blue skull is already in a position to threaten the snail. The snail's in the tunnel and you know can't really do too much. Now, instead of going to help the queen, um, gold abs has to kind of address this and it's already putting him in a bad position, right? And he gets, he gets killed for it. Got a staring match over here. Don't mind that. 
a little clumping from the blue warriors but you know that's fine front check and queen that's fine i guess okay all right so some some things going on right now with the blue squad blue squad's got like really great advantage they're three up um they killed the speed warrior even on uh gold and they're doing a great job right but what's going on here why is blue stripes doing anything except just parking it in the snail who's going to come from behind him and kill him right we want to move the snail so just stay in here there's no reason for you to leave but what's going to happen it's going to peek out and start doing stuff here for some reason right now i get the move the move is hey let's try to get the wipe here you know but these two warriors are not working together at all i don't think they're actually aware of each other's existence because they're not in a position to do anything about this they're working in a silo i think that maybe blue stripes was just kind of hoping gold would see them maybe there was communication and didn't hear it or maybe there was no communication which is what i think we got to talk more on the cab when you're trying to set things up like this so i don't hate the maneuver to get out of here and try to put pressure on this but it's risky and you can't do it from underneath here this warrior obviously can't hold the ceiling you know as well in this moment for whatever reason they're bouncing gold skulls just sees that and just boom just kills them and then the reaction time you can tell that um blue skulls wasn't aware that even happened because the reaction time of seeing that was so slow in fact blue skulls didn't move because of what was going on here blue skull moved because the queen dove in I'll go back so you can see it again All right watch blue skulls blue skulls is looking up here moves queens come in you know just kind of watch up there good cap finally on this side sees that that warrior is still a little bit low which is good the position of blue skull is not you know catching it here um but catching it over on this side because it still recognizes that hey i'm higher than you and i have speed and you don't that's like the 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 trick to really nailing that position down so this is pretty good blue is keeping uh gold to one warrior the one warrior is pretty much always like in a bad position oh but this is this is um ooh, all right we got some clumpy clumpy clumps going on and yeah okay so for whatever reason the blue team one you look at this okay this right here this this human centipede of <laughs> queens and warriors should never happen this is music this is a communication problem this happens a lot in south florida this is probably the number one thing i want to bust up because this is the worst thing you can do in the game you everyone dies everyone dies here everyone dies faster than a shakespearean uh, a tragedy just it's terrible um to get wiped in this type of way and they're gonna lose a queen and a warrior off of this for you know for doing this um a little bit later so they want to stop this one warrior from forming but they're all trying to do it from the right side of the gate how do we bust this up how do we make an actual kind of maneuver here to put any pressure we got a warrior down here no one's in the wrap you know and then we have a warrior here that's kind of trying to check for snail good i like this this guy's doing great one of the warriors preferably the speed warrior in this case needs to box the queen how do we box the queen what does boxing the queen even mean boxing the queen means put put the queen in the middle right now everyone's on the right side of the queen someone needs to be on the left that's the speed warrior you're the fastest so pew, over the top bang now we can come in a little bit put a little pressure on this queen all right i think at some point they're going to do that but they're going to do it from this low angle which is always unsafe it's always risky right so just pew, take the high angle bam you go up there the queen is the only person that needs to cap this the queen should cap this because the queen needs this position they can come in and tag the gate really quickly if they need to right when the queen leaves from the pressure sometimes they'll leave go through here queen tags the gate come back the other way so the queen needs to hold this exact spot that's her place in this so what does the other warrior do where should they be they should be protecting this queen from this warrior so that means they should be basically right here they want to cut off the advance for this warrior to counter box the queen if you remember from the uh sebastian anthony sets there was a moment where uh, a, a warrior i think gold skulls um came up and around kind of a similar thing where a queen is here and i think another warrior is over here or queen's over here but basically you come over and now you put these guys in a cap you're higher you put them in a cap they have to leave they got to go straight up and leave this position leave this anchor point right 
that's the positioning you should take. Skulls or speed goes over to cat from behind. Queen stays in front, and then the warrior, you know, checks the other positions. If this warrior here, uh, gold stripes, was up here, right? Then blue skulls or blue stripes, or sorry, blue abs. Good lord, so many should be up here, capping this and protecting the queen's head. You still have the box between the queen and the speed warrior here, blue skulls. So in order to fight this guy, if he was up here, right, trying to challenge him from the high point, you cap him right here. Or you come in and you just bump him and just don't let him get past you. Because if you cap, sometimes they can make a move on you and sneak down and move around. So get under there and, and contest that. So that way they can't get there. You're protecting the queen's head. Everything is looking good for blue. But instead, okay, queen comes down to tag gate and leaves. I like that. Both warriors kind of go underneath for a minute but okay speed at least recognizes hey this is not a good idea we're both diving under a queen we're gonna die that's not good okay cool now blue abs is kind of fucked right this is a rising gold stripes and the queen's right above you where can you go you have to like somehow just run off the edge and dive down here right okay S manages to kind of sneak past So this, this, this right here didn't actually hold the position I thought it was going to hold there. They get something for it. But in this moment, because stripes didn't hold ceiling, it kind of bounced down and kept trying to kill this warrior instead of bouncing, like zoning the position. They keep trying to kill them by lasering to where they are, right? Going to dive straight down like to here. They try to kill them again, miss, and then they're going to abort mission. But the queen is going to stay here. This could have gone bad, but I think blue in that moment between this speed and uh, whoever else, the queen or whoever died, they're trying to kill the queen in this moment. They're like really trying to. But like, look at this. You don't need to kill the queen in this moment. There's literally no reason to, right? It almost is worse to kill the queen in this moment because you have her locked in a position where she cannot tag middle gate. She cannot do anything except leave this way, maybe go up, be in the same position again if you cap her at the middle, or go through here, right? And you just you just slide over. But that snail, the objective by which blue is trying to win, is doing so good, it's just chugging. Like, it's got a, it's got a guard. They have one warrior. There's nothing to do. The only thing that they need to do is stop the forms, but they're trying to gain so much heavy aggression position here, and they're trying to kill the queen. They're, they're pushing in, right? Here's another one that's coming. Gets the tag there. That's good, but like get the tag and get out. What happens? Everyone kind of like is here, right? Miscommunication probably between the queen and blue skulls about who his job it is to kill this warrior. If there's a potential for anyone to die, like if the queen is hovering over this and there's a drone there, it's not the queen's job to kill the drone. The queen's job is to stay here. The drone or the warriors are the ones that will throw their lives at that drone to try to stop the form then the queen can take advantage of that timing to lip in at that moment when maybe the enemy queen is going to dip down and then use that to push her away and basically you own the gate now. But instead, we get a twofer and, you know, really big kind of comeback point for the first time in the game for a gold side. Now the momentum is starting to swing their way, right? So let's see, what do they do with it now? All right, snail is still moving. Why is the snail not moving? Hold on. Oh, okay. So we got a premature jump off from blue Chex. Chex is moving, 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 moving. But this warrior comes over, and because of this positioning, right? Maybe if you're here, you buy yourself a little time, but pence opportunity, right? Queen's coming in, you got a warrior in a box. Not good. So I actually like where blue stripes is. Just park right here, right? Which is what they kind of try to do. But the drone bugs out jumps off and runs away. Why is that bad in that situation? Well, because sometimes as a snail rider, you need to be bait. Like you need to take the risk of dying. Because one, it doesn't cost you anything. You know, your lives are expendable. They do cost you time, but you know, you're not gonna lose the game if you, if you die three times, right? You, you can die. It's not the worst thing in the world. And if by dying, you can bait a warrior down for your buddy to come in on top of and kill, well, that's a pretty good trade, right?
So stay riding in this moment because you're still kind of at this weird spot where the warrior can't quite just drop down and get to you. They have to clear this ledge, do some weird kind of dip shenanigans and, and, and kill you that way. That might be enough time for this warrior, if the queen is gonna go here and tag the gate and stay up, to kill and come back, right? Or to kill and go underneath and exit out that way. But instead, jumps off, nothing happens to anybody, and we're just kind of a snail that's contested because now that warrior is able to entrench themselves underneath the ledge, right? And if they just park it there, that snail's not moving. So good job, gold stripes. And that snail now is coming back the other way. And now look at this. Would you look at this? It's a 2-2. <coughs> Ooh, okay, nice pence in the middle there. Barry almost having the shenanigans. But what's happening, right? If you notice, gold doesn't really seem like they're losing. Like we just saw some warriors die, but like they just keep coming back. Well, that's because no one on the blue team is really checking to like watch these gates and keep them down, right? Like look at this form that just happens right here. Easily stoppable but it needs a little bit of awareness from blue stripes. Now it seems like I'm talking about blue stripes a lot, <laughs> but I assure you, non-biased, right? Non-biased. So how do we stop this form? It's a speed warrior coming over. We know there's one over our head, but he's kind of moving, kind of, kind of juking around. What do we do? Well, we know that this drone is counting on this warrior to protect them as they get into this gate, but they got to jump here first or they got to go over here. Honestly, the safer thing to do if I'm this drone would be jump over here first, jump here, and then make this long jump because it's a high. I get high up when I do this jump, right? If I'm higher up, I'm I'm less risk. I'm at less vulnerable, right? I'm at less risk. So that's a safer play. They're gonna jump here. In jumping here, this warrior could just cap this side a little bit more. Come over, come back. You'll be able to do that in more time from this positioning, right? And be safe from getting killed from this warrior. Because look where they are, they're on the left. So you cap, cap the right, right? Stop that form for a little bit, try to delay it. That form's gonna get up, and then they try to rise at the wrong time, get killed, and then another one goes down. But even then, it's kind of like, why are we contesting, right? So this, this moment's gone. That drone, like even without these warriors being here, that drone was getting up for free, no matter what, just in timing, right? You're not, it's close, but you're not there. So I see that, I, I see the attempt, but it was it was a little late. It cost your life, right? Cool, fine. I tried to stop the form, I missed it by a little bit, I died, no problem. What about blue abs though? Why in that moment leave, right? To, to, to do what? To gain this position for why, for what reason? You know? Because what's happening here is there's a form, right? This warrior's kind of flying back this way already to put this guy in a pence, right? And they both just go down like immediately. So positionally, doesn't make any sense to, to go to that spot like that. All right, bumping in the middle at the queens, which I like. Queens are just kind of doing what they need to do. Tagging gates, trying to stay focused on that while the warriors are fighting. Now, how do we keep getting in this tunnel situation? So we're fighting over the snail, all right. We both go in the tunnel, right? But there's a drone. And that drone, let's see. Oh man, okay, so rule number one about the tunnel. At all costs, at all costs, try never to send two people to the tunnel for any reason. There's just no, like two warriors. If you got a warrior and a drone, cool, fine. Queen and a drone, fine. But like, try not to send two people to the tunnel. Especially when you're in disadvantaged numbers, because look at look at this concave already. Gold already sees what's going on, because gold has no one to worry about, right? Th these guys are on the run. No one's threatening abs. No one's threatening skulls. No one's threatening uh, or stripes. No one's threatening skulls. They have nothing to worry about, so they can spend all their attention looking at the game and focusing on, okay, where do we need to be to capitalize? They all see this, right? The only people that don't see this happening are blue abs and blue skulls. They see this happening. They see this, you know, speed drone kill opportunity on this guy and they're going to get it. But look at this. Now they're trapped. All right? Speed on this side cuts this opportunity off even if in this moment 
these guys kept going forward and they beat this warrior who i think is also speed jesus um this is capped by gold stripes and then skulls can continue and cap it here by being above this area so these guys are still in this low kill zone right but instead they're going to stay down here and this happens and then the queen go oh no the queen goes down why does the queen go down there queen goes down to try to help but that's another one of those circumstances where you have to recognize and cut your losses say you get that kill right look at this the enemy queen has all i mean the whole map so yeah okay you kill a warrior they get speed they come right back like there's nothing deterring them so this is not the value play for a queen to make the value play for the queen to make is tag those gates right so keeping up with that and with this berry in there you know that's kind of lucky you don't have to die in this situation but berry's there so now 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 you're dead now you have one life Ooh, should be dead in that case Ooh, should be dead in that case bumpy but let's see what happens now okay blue is sh switching to berries which i like this because it's working right like gold hasn't fully recognize it yet they, they see it they have a ledge guard up now but like yeah it's buying time it bought time for a blue to get their warriors back up now they have two bouncy bouncy queen gotta gotta get on that ceiling okay nice double back that's a good kind of switch play because a lot of queens when they're an advantage they will start to just kind of get a little sloppy they'll, they'll start just chasing you on autopilot um so doing that little maneuver to kind of just fake like, oh, I'm going to come down. Nope, I'm still here. Really, really good. Opens it up. And look, they've stopped the snail progress, right? They're contesting it. And they've got five five berries left. I mean, this is actually not bad for blue. It's not ideal, but they're not like out of the game. They can turn this around. Risky moves by blue queen there. Good God. Blue queen should be dead like 50 times. Oh, and then finally catches one of those bounces on the ceiling. Not stabilizing. And then finally takes them out. But like eight berries, right? So four berries left. You have a warrior. And when you get that low, you can spend some time to escort um, berries over as a queen. But there are a lot of things to consider on the map. It was definitely tough because the warrior count for gold was just so high, right? The gate control wasn't too bad. It's 10% off. So that's not like the end of the world. Kills are pretty even. Gold has more military, but like no big deal. But it's just that um, Blue wasn't able to like... They, they made a couple positional blunders that really cost them the game in terms of their warriors went down. I say this a lot. Kyle say this a lot. I'm a JoJo fan. I like JoJo Golden Win. I like Mista. Mista's stand is a pistol, but like he's his stand is actually the bullets in the pistol. So like he shoots the bullets, but the bullets themselves are like sentient, and so they do shit and like you know stuff bullets shouldn't be able to do. <laughs> in this sense, in Killer Queen, the queen is Mista with the pistol, and everyone else on the team is a bullet. But like the queen's job is to load the gun right by tagging the gates. And make sure that like you put things in the chamber so that when you need to fire at something it, it can it can you know it can happen the warrior can spawn you can get the speed you can get up at the gate right then the bullets on its own it's it's free to do what it needs to do to take out whoever needs to take out or hold whatever position it needs to hold but if you don't have gates you can't make you can't fire bullets you know so like you have to focus that's what you have to do the queen is not the bullet the queen is the is the, the person holding the gun right So good turnaround from um, from gold team. You can see the, the little bell dip in the curve from the snail. All right, so let's see what happens on night map now. One note on the queens. Precious is one of our newer queens, uh, but doing really well. Taps fast. Don is a, a warrior who's taken a queening a little bit here and there. Which is great because we need more queens. We're in a little bit of a queen shortage right now. 
and it's kind of preventing us from doing our our bigger tournament so hopefully we can get some more players getting queen here let me jump this forward a bit okay night on map oh man i spent a lot of time on that day map but it was good all right so both queens right in the top oh man big bump and like that doesn't seem like a big deal but these bumps that uh gold skulls is getting is delaying the queen so much that is huge it's time everything in this game is time time is a big resource that people don't think about the fact that the queen blue queen right went that far one gives gold queen this the control of this gate like it's over right gold queen owns this gate now if she wants to keep it she can keep it. it's hers but this over here happening and this is this happens a lot i'll see drones in this moment like at the top leave this because the queen left right queen maybe should have stayed to make sure that this form happened she didn't she she left so okay now the drones on their own what do you do well you can fight you can bump the queen the queen wants to be free to move and do whatever she wants to do right she wants to tag gate she wants to go tag the next gate tag the next gate go over here go over there so what the queen hates is not being able to move that's the worst thing you can do to a queen is restrict their movement so you do that by bumping you do that by holding space in front of them behind them doing whatever you can to impede their movement that is the most frustrating way to fight a queen just take away her legs so this like fighting that you can do as a drone more drones in our scene need to do this in you know certain circumstances this is the circumstances that calls for it you don't just need to bump the queen for the sake of bumping the queen this is happening because my queen left right gold queen left i'm by myself so me the drone i gotta go in here and fend for myself but i can in this position so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna bump and i get the bump Quite a few times live to tell the tale and then i get up on this end and then what happens this queen right more likely frustrated with all of this bumpage that happened here this happens to me too as a queen if a, if a drone is just bumping the shit at me sometimes my brain is just like this guy's gonna die like he this has to stop i have to stop this if i don't kill him now he's gonna keep doing this to me and i'm i, I can't take i gotta stand up to bullies so we'll chase and what happened, right? Blue Queen came down here, chasing this way, right? Could have tagged this gate, dove down, tagged the speeds, better route for sure. Or just held this to stop the form from, you know, the Gold Queen trying to come back. You've got the snail, it's moving. You're not going to stop this form. So, okay, there's no reason to be down here. But loses the position chasing that. And now, Gold, going to take that, get their speed warrior out. It's those little micro plays you know where your dies uh but those little micro plays really change the nature of the game and it's all about no like being positionally aware positional awareness okay oh okay this is something queens do especially queens that are used to uh playing warrior there is a mentality yeah that flight control has got to come up to hitting a lot of um uh ledges that unintentionally not meaning to hit it's putting them in bad situations so this entire kill actually happened it's interesting to think about it that way the entire kill that happened right here started by losing the fight with this ledge i think uh blue queen was trying to rise up but they caught this ledge and they bumped down right also taking a second really great gate control by gold queen all all the gates all of them yeah, tries to come up, but catches a bump down, the force is down, and then we come over here to try to make a tech maneuver, which I've done this, like, it is a triple, I think, from here to here, so, like, it works, you can do it, but in that moment, you don't have any gates. That should be, like, the number one thing that you're thinking about is, I need to get gates, and you have help. You already have two warriors out, so there are moments when you need to fight the queen, and there's moments where you don't need to fight the queen. You can always fight the queen you can right it's not like anyone's telling you you can't but you do need to consider sometimes when do i need like do i need to do this right now or do i need to do something else like tag all the gates because i don't have any right 
but this this is like a little bit of a fight mentality where if someone's chasing me i'm gonna get them right that's what i mean when i kind of say uh queens especially when queens come from warrioring you kind of get in this sense of i'm gonna fight the queen in this moment and you just don't need to you actually need to spend more of your time um not running away and avoiding the queen but just focusing on other things in the game tagging gates okay little lack of awareness coming over the side there precious making uh making a play on the right now what i do like about blue team right now and i don't like about gold is that these berries are just going in for free man like they have four berries left and now finally a ledge guard comes over like <laughs> had these kills on the queen not happened in this way if uh don was able to extend his life out a little bit is he gonna turn again yeah yeah he makes a decision to like i don't know if i want to stop here and fight or if i want to keep going and he turns and in that moment because the stabilization on the ceiling is not quite there yet he's bouncing and pressure just comes and steam rolls over him but i mean four berries left objective going your way like objectively gold is getting destroyed like the only thing they have going for them is the fact that their warriors are up and their queen has two eggs that's it they've got three berries to like eight <laughs> and the snail's still on the rope in favor of blue like nothing is going well for gold in this time but there's so much pressure being put on blue queen where you know she's just feeling like i need to do something but you don't need to do anything you just need to live and you need to tag gates that's it so I actually like that game. I mean, look at the map, right? All signs, except for gate control, point to blue. Blue actually even had more warriors up at, like, consistently throughout the game. They had two warriors up, like, the whole time. So that's just, uh, you know, queen IQ, queen knowledge. A lot of new queens. I say this to as many people as I can. You are the guy holding the gun. You are not the bullet, right? You've got to make sure that you are facilitating for your team. If you are ever playing a game as queen and you are behind in gates, you're not doing your job. And that goes for any queen at any level, national, whatever. I don't care. If you don't have the gates, I mean, week Saturday night, if you don't have the gates, you're not doing your job. I don't care if you're killing everybody, if you're just, you know, whatever. If you don't have any gates, you're not doing your job. That's the number one job. So you got to focus on that as a queen going into dusk map now let's see what happens weird open from precious just uh okay oh okay well <coughs> i see this sometimes this is like you know when the juicy is so when the booty is so juicy you can taste it this is the moment where it's like oh man i feel like i've got you right at any moment you're gonna mess up and i'm right there waiting to kill you and it seems like the right thing to do but it's not it's not for a few reasons one again it's like at the beginning of the game right how many gates are tagged right none of them so killing the queen at the at the very 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 beginning of the game this is a big map like dust map isn't as bad when it's like shenanigans like this if you're doing a normal open where both queens are opening you know left or you know through the wrap or both are in the high and then one of them dies that's 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 actually pretty detrimental because positionally that does something usually when you start here a queen will at least tag their safe gate go up right or if you start here maybe you're trying to stop berries and if you die then you can't stop any of those berries anymore but these queens aren't really doing anything precious tap down got a gate in the middle but no one's going for the middle gate everyone's going for side gates speed gates berries like you know so this no one's no one even opened in the middle so there's there was nothing happening here right this whole thing is just queens like fighting each other for no reason um if one of them kills each other then maybe for blue side like if blue kills gold maybe that means you get a couple more berries in but like these warriors are already about to come out you know if they're going for that um and it's just two berries right your other drones here your other drones here maybe trying to get up so it's not going to give you too much gain in that moment what would give you a lot of gain is making sure that this warrior doesn't form this is the safe gate right so if the queen dives down goes over here oh well thank you for giving me that safe gate i'm just gonna whoop, pop over bang got that thank you bye-bye you know 
um, attack the speed gate, come back over, attack the middle gate, and then all of a sudden you've got more of the map than the other queen does. The other thing is recognizing when this is um, like when you're actually at a disadvantage. Blue queen should have bailed out of this uh, like at basically at this moment. Because at this moment, the queens are level. Like they're pretty much level. I think gold may be a teeny, teeny, teeny bit higher, but they're level for the most part, right? So you bail out and you just you just leave. You just leave this. There's no queen in the world that's going to time that. I mean, you, you got to be crazy. It's possible, but like you got to be crazy to time this when you're so close to death. And if you turn around, you could die, right? So it's much, much safer in this case for blue. Blue is the only one that actually has the option to turn around. Gold has to continue until they get to the ceiling. The reason is, and gold probably knows this by now because of the last games, gold queen can hold the ceiling better than blue queen can. Blue queen bounces on the ceiling. So as soon as they get to the ceiling, gold queen turns around immediately, immediately. Because gold queen's thinking, you're gonna bounce right now. You can't hold the ceiling as well as I can. And bang, that's exactly what happens. And that's that's a that's a learned thing, which is great to, for gold queen to recognize from the previous games. Because just about all of those kills happened because blue queen was bouncing some kind of way. All right, getting getting too fighty on the on the gates, and everybody's running berries here. So. Even though right now, gold queen or blue queen is down on last life, right? And we get down on that last life because we, we got bumped to hell by like two drones and then just held in place. Gold queen comes, bang. Run a little berry or run a little snail, try to distract. Um, but right now, I mean, it's pretty close, right? Uh, it's five to six. So not too bad. Uh, queen lives are, are out of whack, but otherwise it's not too bad. So what do we do from here? This is a really bad position for blue because there's no gates. That is a sacrifice that we made. That's what these two eggs cost us. The two eggs cost us these gates, right? We didn't tag a gate in the beginning because we fought and died. We didn't tag a gate with the second egg because we got bumped and died. We haven't made an effort to tag any gates yet. So that's what the two eggs has cost the team, right? We don't have a way to defend ourselves. We don't have any gates. We can't, we can't load the bullets. We can't shoot. So now, that should be like priority number one. Yeah, you've got three drones who are like trying to throw berries in. They'll get to two, right? If all those make it. But good queen, probably stop one or two of these guys. They're all low, right? Tag this gate. This queen's over on this side. Maybe you can tag middle and come back up. Okay, gets a kill there. That's good. But then you've got this right here, right? Gold team no longer has a ledge guard. You have the opportunity to tag this gate where there's a drone ready and waiting, right? I think they're moving into berries, but I digress. They could get up, form. You pop right back up here. Maybe you, you lose two berries because this drone does not have a berry. This one does and this one does. So maybe those two go in, there's two berries left. But now you have a warrior, right? Popped out to help you. And you've got three drones that can run berries and make up that deficit so long as they're clever and can kind of juke the queen or the one warrior that's for sure going to come from some other gate, right? So those two go in. Oh, man. And then dips down and then goes back up. No, I would have definitely went down, tag the gate. Two berries. Did two go in? No, one went in. Definitely, if you're that low already, just go down, tag the gate. You could tag this gate and that gate before any drone with a berry shows back up. And then, you know, communicate with the team. They come back, get up and try to help you. But, oh, man, leaves the hive, gets juked, no help, right? And it's just bad. It's just pain town. And But look how close it got. Three berries left, right? And you got a drone trying to help the bump. But, man, it was... The game, the game got progressively harder because the queen just never tagged gates. And it's like, oh man, they're flooding berries, so I don't have any warriors up. Man, shit, what am I going to do? But that's the moment you tag gates. You have to sacrifice some berries to do it, but it saves you from this scenario where you're trying to defend three drones putting in two berries. You know, it's just, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to happen. So all in all, I don't hate those games, but there are some things that uh, definitely in that moment, Blue Queen, gotta tag gates, gotta look at the objective game, 
and try to push those things a bit more and working on the ceiling there's definitely some tech things in there i think for this like particular uh footage review i would i would point out right but still undeniably the day map and the night map far closer for blue team objectively day map kind of got away from them they started off really well but then they lost it um but the night map four berries left you know cruising i mean doing really good two warriors up pretty much the whole game so overall good play just got to tighten up a few things but that's it for this one checking the tape precious versus don there gold and blue i'll see you guys for the next one hope you enjoyed